lean in. Stop buying sushi. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Katie and I make stuff vegan. Okay, so boom. So I had a different video planned for today and then I was like looking through my little comments. Like people start commenting now, that makes me so happy. Cause like, I remember when it used to be crickets. But people were like, yeah, like do your sushi video. Remember when I went raw for a day and I made raw sushi and I was like, don't use this recipe like I can show you real sushi. And y'all were like, show us. I was like, okay. So I have um, a couple of vegan sushi recipes, but honestly like, Making sushi at home is so, so simple. And I know like I say that to some people and they're like, no Katie, it's not, you're just used to it. But I had to get used to it, but I hate buying sushi, especially like as a vegan, like before a vegan, like whatever. But when you go out to buy sushi, unless you go to like a vegan restaurant, like oftentimes it's rice and avocado, rice and cucumber. Don't pay for that. You know what I'm saying? The most I will do these days is I will order an avocado roll and then come home and dress it up. But that's the most I'm gonna do. Or there's this place in uh, New Jersey, like I think it's a Hackensack, and it's called like Veggie Heaven or something. If I'll find the link and link it, if you're like in that area, like in that New York City tri-state area, it's worth the drive. Like it is a completely vegan. Asian restaurant, they have like heck of different rolls, everything vegan, they got like carrot. Oh it just stressed me out that I can't go there. <laughs> I just stress myself out. They got like desserts, they got bubble tea, they got like noodles and rice dishes and faux chicken and chicken wings. And... Anyway, let's do the video cause now I'm mad. If you want to see how I made sushi at home, keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you never miss any of my videos. Also, I have the recipes to the fillings that I use, but it was kind of hard to write a recipe because it's not really like one. You're going to see. When you click the link, you'll see. Okay, let's get a crack a Let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to start off by making my fillings, like I said in the intro. So I'm going to make three types of rolls today. I'm going to make a California roll. I'm going to make a tempura roll, and I'm going to make like my typical vegan roll. Like if I'm feeling for sushi, I'm going to show you what I'll be making. Because I'll be, the best part about making sushi at home is you could literally put whatever you want in it. And I'm going to show you that today. And I was going to put one more ingredient too, because I love putting arugula in my sushi. I know that's not what they do in Japan but I don't live there, okay? But yeah, okay. So I'm gonna start by making my tofu. This is one of my favorite tofu recipes. Like, honest to God, favorite tofu. It's probably my go-to. I might mix it up a little bit, but I usually, if I'm gonna make like a baked tofu, I'll make like, I'll use soy sauce and uh, thyme and garlic powder and onion powder. Like that's usually like my, put that on salads, put that in the sandwich, like it is such a good recipe. And this one, I'm gonna add some plum sauce that I got from the Asian market. If you if you can't find plum sauce, just use uh, sweet chili sauce. You can find sweet chili sauce literally everywhere. There it is, I'm just gonna put it off to the side. Oh, I forgot to add thyme. And I know you're probably like, can you add no thyme? I did, you know I love me some thyme. Uh, but yeah, thyme just elevates, it's like, top tier, okay? I'm gonna put them in my air fryer. I didn't always have an air fryer. You can just bake them at like a 425. I think I said 400 in the recipe, but you know, use a discretion. But this is bomb. Like this is like top tier tofu. Like just trust me. And I ain't never led you astray. Not once, not twice, nan thrice, okay? Just trust me, okay? I'm gonna chop up your typical like sushi ingredients here. So I got some carrot, which I'll be going back and forth about carrot because it's like, do I like carrot or do I not like carrot? And is it, is it better raw or is it better cooked? I don't know. But today I was feeling carrot. I also just had a leftover. Like I'm gonna keep it above. Okay, I also wanna show you my little mushroom recipe. This recipe, I love it so much. And the same thing, like I be putting it, like if I want a little mushroom moment, I'll just make this on the side and like add it to a little salad or something, right? So I just chopped up the mushrooms, okay. We're gonna get to that in a second. But let me tell you about these. If you do not know what these are, these are, okay, they're called Japanese sweet potatoes. I don't know what they're actually called, but that's what they say on the back. I got these from Trader Joe's, but I normally see them, I don't normally see them at the, t at the regular grocery store. Like I see them at, at like Caribbean markets, African markets, international stores, uh, like a, a specific like fruit and vegetable market, you'll see these, but these are leagues better than, you know, 
sweet potatoes, like the regular ones, like the, like the yellow ones, okay? Like these taste like cake. Like I don't even know how to describe them. They are so good. Like honestly, just baking them as a side will do you right, okay? I'm getting my uh, tempura ready, so I'm gonna tempura the sweet potato. That's something I do all the time. Like, honestly, oh, reminded me of like, when I was in grad school, I would have sushi nights at my place. Like I would just make a bunch of toppings. Like I would make like, I would tempura some stuff. I'll make some dumplings. I'll make a whole, all this stuff, I'll make a heck of tofu and, and make a whole pot of rice and invite like all my colleagues. Um, because like I went to a, a music conservatory. So like it was very small, everybody know each other. And I would buy a bunch of my colleagues over to my little studio apartment and have like three of them sushi mats and like everybody making their own roll. Like, that used to be dumb fun. Like, I can't wait till the panorama's over so I could do that again, like down here in Memphis, because I just love doing that. I love entertaining. This is a, a perfect thing. If you have like your quarantine um, little set, your little, your little quarantine people, go ahead and do that. Like make a whole bunch of fillings and everybody make their own sushi roll. It's super easy. I do it with my mom. She's so cute. I be doing it with my mom sometimes. Like, yeah, like, it, and she was like, Katie, I can't do it. I'm gonna show you how to do that too. Okay, so what you say is a tempura. So I mix equal parts basically of cornstarch and flour and water. I couldn't find tempura mix. If you don't wanna do that, I would actually recommend trying to find tempura mix, but my local Asian market is a Vietnamese market, so I, I couldn't find it there. But use tempura mix, I just mixed that up with some seasoning and then I dipped my, I heated some oil and we fried it again, but it's literally tempura, like, it's tempura, okay? Um, and I fried it, till it was golden brown. That's it. Tempura, it was really easy to make. It's like your standard tempura mix, but it will go, it will do, okay? Here's my mushroom recipe. So in the pot, I put a little bit of nonstick spray. You can skip that and I skipped it in the recipe because I had a brain fart. Normally I just heat the sesame oil in the pan, add the mushrooms, season it up with um, no salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and you know, a little thyme. You know, we gonna add some thyme. And uh, okay, I said no salt, but this is not salty. This onion, it's like one of my go-to seasonings, right? And I'm gonna saute that up until it gets like a little bit crispy, a little bit whatever, a little bit um, soft. I'm gonna deglaze the pan with soy sauce. Baby, I don't know where I came up with this at. I was just like in my apartment in Rochester, New York a couple years ago and I'm like, let me try this. It looks like it would be good. Because what happens is once the soy sauce cooks down, it gets caramelly like that. And I'll also recommend using a no, like a low sodium soy sauce because like sometimes it'd be OD with it, but ah, you have to do it, okay? Here, me, here I go making a California roll. You can get sushi mats at the Asian market. Sometimes, like if you buy Wegmans, they have them like, sometimes like, your grocery store will surprise you. So if you don't have an Asian market by you, just go, go to the regular grocery store, okay? You're gonna put the shiny side down. So the, you'll, and you'll be able to tell, like every, every nori wrap is exactly the same. You'll be able to tell that there's a shiny side and like a, like a little grated side. I spread, um, I spread my, um, what's it called it? It's called nori. I spread that with cream cheese. That's not typical of a California roll, but like I love adding vegan cream cheese to my, to my little rolls. Don't use this one for Trader Joe's. Didn't I drag Trader Joe's last week or the last video? Who told them to change the recipe? And remember like, I forgot what video was at like the Buffalo Blast and I was like, oh, I left it out too long. No, it's just like that now. Trader Joe's, what cream cheese be like that? See, these companies be changing stuff and anybody asked me to do it. So as you can see, I concentrated all my ingredients in the center of the roll and I kind of like wasn't paying attention. I was like kind of rushing, but I wasn't paying attention. You put, you're gonna leave like at least a half inch on, on the outside, like inches better. So you can close the, the, the wrap, the wrapper, right? And then you see me with my little thing of, um, don't mind that, don't mind that. <laughs> Okay, so you see me with my little thing of water, I'm gonna wet the sides. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you again, but you take the, you put your stuff on it, you take the, the mat and you go up and over the middle of the ingredients. Like, don't lose me, just stay with me. I promise it's really easy, right? And you give a little squeeze like that, like I did, and then you're gonna keep rolling and keep rolling until it shuts. I'm gonna show you again, okay? So this one is my tempura roll, right? So I'm taking the rice, one, I remember like one time I did a sushi night and my friend put like OD rice in it. Don't do that, it's gonna be hard to close, okay? So there go my tempura all fixed up and I'm gonna put it in the center. Notice how I left space um, on either side, on either, either, girl. I left space on either side so that I can close it because if you don't leave space and you go all the way up, 
it's not gonna close properly, okay? So I'm putting my little, my little tempura, and like, I be trying to put as much as, as possible. If you have never made sushi before, like, I remember when my mom did it for the first time, she like, filled it up with stuff. I'm like, man, you ain't never did this before. How you filling it up? Like, you really wanna be like, frugal with it, just so you can get the technique of it. And did I go to sushi school? No, so I don't need people telling me that's not the way you do it, girl. This is the way I've been making sushi by myself for literally like seven years, okay? This is the way I do it. Okay, so up and over, I'm gonna give it a little squeeze. I'm gonna take the mat up and I'm gonna keep rolling. And I squeeze along the way because I don't wanna be embarrassed. I want it to close. I want it to close. And I also give it like a little squeeze at the end, you know, just to make sure it's secure. Because what you really are wanting, and that's why I wet my, like my little pro tip is to wet it. Because you want the, um, the seaweed to like, you know, meld together. There you go, period. There she is, so good, so good. Okay, so this is like my go-to sushi. I be like, you know, it's like noon, you know what I'm saying? I be like, you know what would be good for dinner? Some sushi, you know? So I made my little tofu, and I just start taking ingredients out of my fridge, like what I got that I could use as leftovers. And you could do the same thing. I mean, I would stay like in the sushi family, like don't put tomatoes in it. I mean, you could do you, but tomatoes, olives, that's kind of weird. I be putting arugula in there. Back when I used to eat like fish and stuff, I would put um, tuna fish. I'm not telling you to eat tunas. I'm just saying, like I would. Literally, I'm just saying that I would <laughs> tuna. I, I'm just saying that that's what I used to do. Like I would just fill it up with whatever I had. Okay. So if you are vegan and you're watching this, like this is so easy to do. Do not buy sushi unless like you are getting like top tier nigiri. Like I just feel like it's how you say it. Like just especially if you're vegan. Why you want rice and cucumbers, girl? They got that at the crib. They got that at the house. Okay, so I wanted to just keep this clip in, right? Because I'm literally like the sushi queen. I remember one time when I was like working at my little graduate job in grad school, like I was like, my boss was like, you brought, you made that? And I'm like, yeah. And he was like, you really, that, that, that's not normal. And I'm like, you literally roll it up. <laughs> like, it's so easy. Let me show you this. So in front of the camera, I got like 30 minutes for my next meeting. Look what happened. That giant opened up. But I'm gonna I'm tell you what I'm gonna do. So if this happens to you, you too can fix it. All I did was I took a, a sheet of, of nori and I wet it in the sink. I, read it, I wet it in the sink. I put it back on, on the thing, shiny side down, put it seam side, rolled it up, just like that. I, made, I squeezed it so it was real good. It wasn't going nowhere. Who opened up? What opened up? When did it happen? What are you even talking about? Did you see something open up? Cause I didn't see nothing. What are, you, what are you even talking about? It fixes it every time. It fixes it every time. Like, there you go. Nothing happened, okay? And sushi would not be complete. It won't without some spicy mayo. And that's another thing. Like when you go to a vegan, when you go to a sushi restaurant that doesn't have vegan options, they only can make things vegan. You miss out on the spicy mayo. How are you gonna eat sushi without spicy mayo? Where are they even doing that at? Okay, super simple. You really can just use vegan mayo and um, sriracha. Like that's totally fine. But the other week, the other week, I dipped a little bit of that, um, that sesame oil in there and it just elevated it. Like for me, it was a sesame oil for me, love. <laughs> Let me know if you try these recipes. I really hope you don't feel intimidated, like make sushi at home. And I'm not saying like, whatever, go to your favorite vegan spot to get sushi. But I really think that like, you can make sushi at home and you can make it vegan and it will be way better than anything you would get at your typical restaurant that only got avocado rolls. Trust me, click the link in the bio so you can see, you know, the bio, I'm not on Instagram. Click the link in the description box so you can see, you know, how I did everything and give it a try and let me know how you fare, okay? Thank you so much for watching. While you're here, check out my other videos and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye y'all.